One of the things you don't get on a new fuel-injected Harley is an idle like this. And once it warms up, it idles down even more. And, uh, that unique lope is a combination of the cam that's in there and the carburetor, so it's it's uh, totally unfettered and free breathing, and it sounds awesome. Nothing like those straight fishtail mufflers it has a unique sound all its own. What's up ladies and gentlemen? Check out this classic 1993 Harley Davidson FLHS Electroglide Sport. This thing is an absolute American icon. It is absolutely stunning. It has a metallic candy blue paint with a red, white, and blue American flag on the center console. It's completely customized from top to bottom, front to back, and uh, it's got really low miles on it. Only 26,000 miles. This is a um, 27 year old, about to be 28 year old, evolution powered. Look at the motor on this thing, it's absolutely spotless. This is an 80 cubic inch, 1340 cc evolution engine. It's carbureted, of course, and it's got a lot of upgrades. I guess we'll start with the motor. Take a close look at that. There's the, it's like a brand new motor. All the seals and gaskets are perfect on it. You can see the head gaskets uh, and the valve cover gaskets were replaced on it. The motor's been previously rebuilt recently. Uh, the paint on it is perfect. It has an SNS Super E carburetor, uh, breathing through the SNS air cleaner and uh, intake. It has an Andrews cam in it, EV27 cam, and a set of uh, of the um, uh, fishtail old school style gangster mufflers to go with the gangster white walls on it. Chrome rims, stunning uh, pin hand pinstriped uh, on the paint job. It's got a custom painted Harley Davidson badge on the tank. The entire front end's been dipped in chrome, uh, including the fork lowers and the fork covers. Uh, it's got a, uh, a set of highway pegs on it here, which is real nice for a tall guy like me. Um, you can stretch right out. Your feet get a little cramped on, on the stock running boards. It's got chrome running board covers. The engine's all, all chromed out with the wrinkle uh, black finish. One cool touch that was done to this is rather than chroming, take a, take a look at the heads on this. They chrome the upper and the lower, but they left the middle, the brushed aluminum, uh, kind of like they did, they did on the 1990 Fat Boy where they painted that yellow. It's a, it's a nice touch, gives it a, you, you look at the motor and you're like, wow, something's different about it, and you got to take a close look. It's been just gone through completely by the texture. I've got a full, uh, a full 
work order I'll go over with you. The, the gas tank is as clean on the inside as on the outside. It's running VP fuel as a Harley Davidson um, gunfighter saddle. And one of the coolest things about this is kind of goes with the uh, the t-shirt theme that we got Ripper Strippers and Beer as a wizard. This is uh, uh, something we thought up for the wizard to have a three passenger bike so you can have two passengers on the back, which is pretty, pretty cool. So um, for something wholesome, like me riding my two daughters around or the wizard carousing around on a Friday night, uh, like he usually does. So um, in any event, you can ride two people on this bike. So uh, the, the passenger on the back, their feet go on these uh, custom Harley Davidson uh, saddlebag protectors. The saddlebags also have the, the roof rack set up on here. And it's got the, uh, um, this is the, the spot they mount a, a King Tour Pack on here if you wanted to. But right now it's being used as a uh, rack and saddle with a, it has the um, conchos on the back of it. The uh, rear of the bike has a triple bumper set up on the back, protecting the custom paint job on the rear fender. And the rear view is pretty damn sharp. My favorite view of this bike right here is this rear quarter view. If you come over here and get down on your knees and look at it from this rear quarter view, the white wall tires, the chrome front end, the, um, the general profile of the bike. These are the stock handlebars. They're like mini apes, right, from the factory. 10-inch mini apes is what I'd, what I'd call it. And the handlebars are... Uh, have some other more chrome trickery chrome pegs i mean chrome uh, uh, levers and uh, grips it has the original harley davidson mirrors on it this side of the motor is all chromed out the outer primary and derby cover the shifter is chrome the uh, horn cover is chrome and the motor is in, in immaculate condition uh, it has an additional uh, bumper style chrome cover on the side cover right here it's a brand new set of tires we just put the tires on there uh, bikes just had the carb clean all the fluids change and she's ready for a season of fun ride it cross country ride it to the beach or uh, Take it out on the town has a braided stainless brake line in the front, which is nice The brakes have all been redone braided stainless lines in the front So let me grab the work order and we'll go over some of the details on it Just to make sure I didn't miss anything So to build this bike if you took a stock 93 like the one I have in stock here that I'm gonna bring out next and try to turn it into this you drop about 10 grand into it between the chrome front end the custom paint job, the uh, stage one kit on the motor, the cam, the custom uh, head work on there with aluminum and chrome, the paint job on the motor, the, the Andrews cam, the exhaust, the highway pegs, the, the chrome uh, running boards, the chrome levers and grips, the rear bumper, the racks, and the braided lines. There's about seven grand there, and then another 3,000 that we put into the bike. So you'd easily drop 10 grand uh, if you took a stock electric glide here or anywhere and said i want it completely done up chrome the whole thing out paint it up build the motor and refresh it and detail it so it, it's just had a speaking of detailing the thing's just been detailed like you would if you're bringing it to the rats hole custom chopper show at the daytona boardwalk or to the museum here for uh, one of our custom bike shows the bike was steam cleaned, hot water pressure washed and steam cleaned and hand washed the fuel tank the fenders and the saddle bags were professionally buffed in waxed the engine was cleaned and detailed. All the chrome was cleaned and polished and wiped down. The rim and the spokes were clean and polished when the tires were off. So we obviously had to take the wheels off to change it, to put the brand new white walls on there. So um, there's another thing I forgot to mention. This has a, a Harley Davidson Fat Boy a solid mag rear wheel, which is not something you'll, you'll see on, on another uh, FLHS. It's just not something that people do. And that's been done on this to bring it to the next level, customizing the rear wheel. It's all polished. It's aluminum and it's polished like chrome. The spokes were cleaned and polished, and the rims were polished when the tires were off. The seat was leather conditioned. Uh, various chassis bolts were wire, wire wheeled, and the frame was lightly touched up wherever there was any nicks in it. So um, the, uh, it was in the detail shop for two full days, and then it went to the service department for um, a new air filter. Uh, the, the carburetor was removed and cleaned internally, and uh, the jets were cleaned and set up for the, um, for the uh, um Fishtail rear uh, drag pipes, which we just put on. We put the drag pipes on here ourselves. Uh, they weren't, it wasn't like that when we got it. Uh, we put the new white wall tires on the front, white wall tires on the rear. Uh, we put a, a new Harley Davidson wheel speed sensor on the front and also set it up with the triple passenger. I've, I've never seen anybody do this before. I've never seen a Harley set up for two passengers. So if you got two young kids or you want to take your wife and a daughter or your two sons out for little kids out for a ride to the baseball park or whatever it is, You've got the ability to ride through people on this bike, which is kind of cool. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's legal. Check with your state. Um, it's got a new oil filter. All engine oil has been changed. Uh, new spark plugs. Again, the SNS and Supreme carb was rebuilt. And it's been gone through top to bottom, front to work, back. Everything works beautifully. Uh, we put a new switch for the, for the uh, triple running lights, the fog lights. That's got a new 
on off switch there. Um, just a stunning piece. Uh, if you have any questions about this bike, give us a call at 860-454-7024. I think I pretty much covered everything. Obviously, this is a bike that was well cared for. One of the things I didn't mention is a lot, if you don't already know, these Evolution motors are considered some of the most, one of the most reliable motors Harley Davidson's ever built. These, re these motors regularly will go over 100, 200,000 miles. I have a friend who has 200,000 miles on an original soft tail, a 1986 Harley Davidson Heritage soft tail. He's been to Alaska like seven times on this thing, and he's replaced the gaskets and seals, but the engine internals are original. And he doesn't, you know, he prides himself with the fact that 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 uh, he's taken such good care of it the last that long. But they regularly go over 100,000 miles. This one is barely broken in with 26,000 miles. So um, in New England, this happens. Our riding season's about four months here. It's already October. We're in a tank top today, but it could be snowing two weeks from now, literally. So we've had snowstorms on, on around Halloween. So. You got a special someone you want to buy a kick-ass bike for Christmas, eight weeks out from Christmas now, and uh, or if you want to buy yourself a kick-ass classic Evolution-powered FLHS, look no further. Uh, has a locking saddlebags on the back here. Um, yeah, just a kick-ass piece. Is there anything you'd like to add about this bike, Junior? Guys, we can ship anywhere. Message is it for a quote. That's all. You hit the nail on the head, Pops. No excuse bike. Absolutely. It's a pristine piece. I think in the riding port of the proportion in the, in the, uh, the pictures, the picture's worth a thousand words, as they say. I think the bike speaks for itself, man. Good luck finding a, a nicer 93 than this. It'd be hard pressed to find one. Most people that have bikes this nice uh, that are the, of this era, um, there's usually a line of people waiting to buy them, uh, friends and family, or they keep them forever, which is, I think this w was supposed to be a forever bike for the guy who aged out on it. So, brand new white walls aren't even broken in. They got like three miles on them. Everything's fresh. It's got a new battery. I think I forgot to mention that. We put a brand new battery in it, too. So um, we've got a $3,000 work order for everything we did here. And it was over seven grand already invested in the customized. So over 10G dropped on uh, all the goodies you see here. And some of them you don't. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. God bless Harley Davidson. And God bless America.